Hello, I'm Atuba George, and, and I bless God for this day. And today is Friday. Praise God. Listen, everything we've been sharing since morning. Get it, listen to it, listen to it, and let it help you. The formation of your mindset about yourself and about God. Praise God. Can we call for our daily bread? Say this with me. Say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, sharing with you very important things about being positioned, allowing God to position you. It's a sweet thing to desire, but it also comes with high level of responsibility if you are going to fulfill God's will. There are many people who think they are fulfilling God's will, but they are not. The fact that you don't fulfill God's will doesn't mean God is going to kill you. Nah. You remember Saul. You see, all these things the Bible said they are written for our learning. Saul the king. Saul was made king by God. God personally handpicked Saul. Think about it. The people asked for a king. God said, okay. He didn't say, let's do a democratic election. No, God, person, God personally handpicked Saul and told Samuel, anoint him. He's going to be king. Study the Bible. Three years after Saul became king, on the third year, God rejected him as king over Israel. He rejected him as king over Israel. I mean, I mean, God so rejected him. He said, I'm not doing it again. But guess what? I said three years. Guess what? Saul still ruled on that throne for 40 years. Think about it. Three years, God rejected him. But he was still there as king for another 37 years before he died. Out of those 37 years, David was born within, <laughs> within that period. Praise God. David was born. You see, I want you to understand. And God had to wait for David to grow up. And then he became king. And look at David. God had to give test David in different ways. And what was the main test of David? God just wanted to know, will this guy do what I want? So God put him in different situations. Even situations where his action would have brought great relief and benefits to him. God watched. David did it. Why? He was following the command of the Lord. He was following the things that God has personally taught him. I'm telling you this truth. Pay attention to the things that God is teaching you personally. It may not be the general things. When the 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 sin you commit, most of them, and those are the sins that that are very dangerous to you. It's not the general things people think. See, there are personal things God have commanded you as a person. And once he commands you those things, and, and he's not just going to command you like, don't do this, that shall not. No, no, no. He will teach you first. Teach you about that thing and show you why you shouldn't. So when you go against it, you were not deceived. You deliberately went against it because you you didn't you didn't esteem his word that high you didn't you didn't think what he told is so true you didn't think so just like adam god had told him about that tree. so the day eve ate that tree and gave it to him to eat he looked at it he remembered everything god had said so what uh, Let's just check it out. Let's just try it out. Let's see. That was his problem. That was, that was Adam's problem. So, now I'll give you another example. 
you remember this young this prophet now we call him young prophet the bible didn't really call him a young prophet the bible just said there was a man of god that came from judah we call him young prophet because later the bible talked about an old prophet so if there's an old prophet then he has to be a young prophet so that's why now <clears throat> god sent this man on an assignment and what was the assignment god sent him to go cause the altar and then also give a prophecy about a child that's going to be born and what he's going to do i told you two days ago everything is by prophecy so he got to the altar incidentally when he got to that altar jeroboam the king was about to offer sacrifice in that altar so now that's why you see the god didn't send him against jeroboam god sent him to go speak against the altar but incidentally and, and and that's the purpose of god god actually wanted to stop jeroboam from offering sacrifice on that altar so god wanted that altar destroyed and that, that jeroboam was going there and at the same time god sent this prophet but god never told him anything about jeroboam uh, that's how god sets people up sometimes so this young prophet received commands from the lord as to his attitude and things to do after that assignment now these were personal commands given to him by the lord so he got there and he saw jeroboam there but then he was here already and i believe the spirit of god must have come upon him so he began to speak against the altar and he commanded he, he, he told them that this shall be the sign that the altar is going to be torn god is going to destroy the altar himself and when he was doing the assignment god sent him to do jeroboam stretched his hands to hold him and said stop that guy and, and what happened the bible said his hands his hand dried out dried up the hand he stretched towards him. and he prayed oh talk to god to heal me and the prophet prayed and then Jeroboam, now this is the king. Jeroboam said, hey, thank you very much. Hey, thank you, sir. He said, please come over to my house. I want to reward you and, and so that you will eat something. The prophet said, no, I have received a command from the Lord not to eat in this place, drink in this place, not to even follow the same road I came with. So I'm sorry, I have to decline. But okay, he left. Now the Bible spoke about an old prophet who went when he heard what he did, went to look for him. And when he found him, he told him, look, come, come and eat. And the guy said, no, sir. The Lord commanded me, say, ah, I know, you see, a small boy. Because an angel of the Lord appeared to me and he gave me the word of the Lord. And this is what he said I should do, I should do for you. And he said, okay. Whatever was in his heart, you see, God will always prove what is in your heart. Now, God had told this young prophet, don't eat, don't drink. Don't even go the way you came from. Now, that's the part we know the details there are more details that he must have known that we would not know or we may not know are you following me? so he told this prophet this is what god commanded me the prophet said no an angel appeared to me and he said i should do this for you and he followed him he went with that old prophet now, he was not a fake prophet, the old prophet now. He was not a fake prophet. He was a genuine prophet. But then the Lord, the word of the Lord did not come to that old prophet at that moment concerning that altar. Read this story, 1 Kings chapter 13. And then he went in with this old prophet and they ate. While they were eating, the Bible said, the other broke on Veneza Kataya. The Bible said the word of the Lord came to the old prophet. Now the old prophet had said to him, 
that the word of the Lord came to him and the Bible recorded that he was lying. Right? Now then, while they were eating, the word of the Lord came to him and said, Hey, you have disobeyed what the Lord commanded you. <laughs> and now, this is a judgment that is going to happen to you. And then you know the story. This guy left and died. And when he died, they brought the news to the old prophet and said, that guy is dead. And this is the situation. He said, ah, don't worry. He went, took his body, buried him. And then he now said, this old prophet now said, that look, what this prophet said concerning that altar and concerning our nation will surely come to pass. Validating that he was a genuine prophet of God. Now you ask this, is it? so wait, wait. Why didn't God punish the old prophet for deceiving the young prophet? Now these are things that many years ago, I, I, I read this, I was troubled by this, and I went before the Lord and said, God, this is not fair. This is not fair. This old prophet, for whatever reason, misled the young prophet. And now the young prophet is dead, and there was no single judgment given against the old prophet. Have you ever thought about that? Now, I don't have time to explain to you what the Lord, <clears throat> what the Lord taught me concerning that. Now, that's why it's good to hear the Lord for yourself. But I'll just give you a few. Now, the Lord said this to me. He said, <laughs> You see, when God instructed that old prophet on what to do, because God's intention was actually to destroy that altar. Why was God, why did God want to destroy that altar? So he would stop the king. Because anywhere the king goes to offer sacrifice, it's the whole nation that is offering sacrifice. So God wanted to stop the king from offering sacrifice on that altar. So the whole nation do not offer sacrifice there anymore. But you see, that altar has become a principality in itself. So God knew the challenges that is going to come up, come up with the assignment that he is giving to this old prophet. And because of those challenges, he gave him commands and taught him what to do. But he haven't left. Now when that old prophet said an angel appeared to me, he wasn't telling a lie. What really happened was this. You remember how Ahab, a lying spirit was released to deceive Ahab's prophet, right? All right. So, it, the lie in there was for the pro, young prophet to discern that even if this command is from the Lord, it is leading, it is a test. And that's how he could have recognized that it was a lie. You know, so maybe his thought is maybe God have changed his mind. Now, why would he think maybe God have changed his mind? Because he still had a problem with food and maybe offering. He still had a problem. That was his personal issue. He still had a problem with food. And God knew that this man would be caught by food. So God says, don't. So all he needed to do was to endure not eating that food for that day. Just go. But he couldn't. God loved him. Do you understand? But then that was going to be his first assignment. There are greater things God had planned for him. But the first test, he went against the command of the Lord. He didn't survive to even ask for mercy. Now that's even because he didn't really know the Lord. If he had known the Lord, he could have actually delivered himself on the day that old prophet was prophesying into his life. He could have delivered himself if he understood who the Lord was. Brothers and sisters, we pray for position, but begin to prepare for the responsibility of position. 
And I pray that the Spirit of God will strengthen your heart, strengthen your resolve. There are many things God wants to put in your hands. And I pray that as you begin the journey of preparation, that the Lord will find you faithful in all things. The Lord will find you faithful in keeping every instruction and command that He gives to you. And that He will bring His word to pass as He has spoken concerning you. And you will enjoy the benefit of His word being fulfilled in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Have the greatest weekend ever. And I pray that God truly will position you even this weekend. In Jesus' name. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.